Okay, so now we are going to execute SQL and social queries in the developer console. So you remember SQL, Salesforce object query language, Salesforce object search language or search queries. So let's launch our developer console. I'm going to launch my Trailhead Playground here and open my developer console from here. Let me clear this out and go to the query editor at the bottom tab here. So let's see what we have in our trail. First off, we want to create some sample data. So what this code is doing is create three contact records, see? Contact object, the variable name is contact one, new contact, and you define each field, and then you insert the contact one. This is a DML, data manipulation language, a DML statement, contact one, same thing contact two and contact three. So I'm just gonna copy this code, flip back to our developer console, and then go to uh, execute anonymous, this, or you can go control E or command E. This is from our previous trail. I'm gonna change like that, right? So this is just going to insert three contact. We don't need the log. I'm just gonna execute that. So those three contact should, ha should, should be added by now. Okay, moving on. Enter the following query in the query editor tab. So this is a circle. Select the name, field, phone, field, email, title, from what object, from contact, where the department of the contact equals specialty crisis management. I'm gonna copy that and flip back here. Put it in our query editor like so, and hit execute. Boom. So we have three results here. And you can also sort, see if you click on the column that you select here. See the column displaying is this, the column you're selecting from here, right? So name, phone, email, title. So you can sort by that, okay? You can sort the data. So what else? Let's flip back. Well, that's pretty much it, right? So let's see. This time, let's also try ordering the result um, alphabetically by name. So, um, let me copy this code and then I'm going to run it again. Command E and boom. But right now, I want to open the log there. Okay. So basically, this is a array of contact, these contacts and they are selecting all of that and then order by name. So sort by name and then the size of the array, these contacts, right? Which is containing the result of the circle, the size, how many records? That's it, right? So if I, if I execute this and then we just want to see the debug message only, three contacts return. There you go, and this is the detail of it. So that's it. Now, next is social searches. What is social searches? So social is searching through multiple objects. It can be uh, searching just on one object, but it can also find through multiple objects, remember? So I'm gonna copy this code and back to our developer console. I'm gonna close everything out so it's not confusing. And then change this, I'm gonna clear this out and just paste the um, source code. Execute, there we have it. So same thing, you can sort this. Returning contact object, the field name is first name, last name, phone, email, title. Same thing, right? 
So we can also try the same the same code and, and debug with the social widget query. So I'm just gonna do that again, debug there and then this one. So now list of list of an S object because this is a social, right? You have to do list of lists. Remember we've done this before in the previous trail, right? Because a saucer returns multiple objects and fields, okay? So this is how you do it. So I'm just gonna execute and see the debug message only. There, found the following context. The last name, um, yeah, probably last name, first name last name first name we won't be talking too much about the coding this is this is just to show you how you can run socal and social queries within the developer console and that's pretty much it and let's do the challenge all together because this is going to be simple all right so let's do the challenge write an inline social search to return database values using execute anonymous like we did there insert the context details on the mission so basically um you just copy this right yeah that's right okay let's copy that i'm going to close this out first and I'm going to go debug execute anonymous window. Let's insert that. So we have a new contact. The department is mission control. Title is that. Email is that. Insert contact. Okay, we don't need the log. Execute. So that's the first step of the challenge. The second step is search for the inserted record with an inline social search using execute anonymous. So instead of finding crisis like we did that before on the sample, search for mission control. Yeah, so let's copy the code from here. So copy the code from there. Debug again here. Boom. And then we want to find the mission control. Control, right? So what field do they want to be returned? Let's see the challenge again. The field would be uh, last name and first name in your debug log. Yeah, last name and first name. So that should be good. I'm going to execute this and see what happens. If I say debug only, there we go. And I think we are done. I'm gonna collect the points and get the badge whoa this is the last one so next up is i think is visual code studio awesomeness now we're talking right so get the point and get the badge i'll see you on the next module about visual code studio bada bing bada boom Woohoo! Where is my badge? Woohoo! I'll see you on the next module! Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.